have been uh, named the pro-abortion nun, and of course I'm not pro-abortion. I don't know anybody who is pro-abortion. It makes no sense to be pro-abortion. Of course I'm not, and not only that, but I believe, I don't believe, like some people do believe, that human life at its um, beginning or its uh, first stages should not be considered human life. I don't believe that. I believe it's a mystery. We don't know how that all happens, but that from the beginning, because of the development that's possible to this embryo, to this cycle, to these two cells that came together, that deserves all the respect in the world. Good. But that being said, I believe criminalizing abortion. So that my conclusion is I would like that no woman felt she wanted to have an abortion or she needed felt she needed to have it, that would be the better world for me. But we have real world. And in the real world, if we push for laws that criminalize abortion, I think that the end result is worse than if we don't. And then we have the free space as churches, as individual people to try to contribute to this better world that I have already explained, right? For example, in El Salvador today, there is pushed by the Catholic Church and the bishops there, uh, a law that's completely prohibitive, right? There is no way that you can have an abortion in El Salvador. What that means is not that you are preserving like the values of uh, God in a better way. What it means is, for example, when a woman has a spontaneous abortion, that's a medical uh, issue, you just lost the child, right? That happens. How can you know that she didn't do something to provoke that? You cannot. In some cases, in many cases, you cannot medically know 100% that there has not been something that she has done to herself to provoke that abortion. So what happens in El Salvador, because the laws are so uh, against it, is that doctors denounce the women to avoid themselves being denounced by somebody else. Today, if a doctor in El Salvador, and that's thanks to this hierarchy of the Catholic Church, if a, a, a doctor in El Salvador uh, is denounced as having covered up an abortion, he or she will lose the license forever and will go 40 years in prison. So are you going to risk that as a doctor? That's extreme. That's pushing you in a situation that it's like almost life and death. And so you are going to feel very sorry for this woman that maybe had a spontaneous abortion, but you're going to report her as maybe having had an uh, intentional abortion. And so there are these women that are internationally known now, the 17, but there are more of them, that are in the prison for 30 years, up to 30 years, and they have had a spontaneous abortion. A very known case is the case of a woman who was minor. She was 17 years old. She was raped. She became pregnant after the rape. Then she was already 18 while she was pregnant, and she had a spontaneous abortion while well, she was denounced as having caused that, and now she's in prison for 20 years and going. So is that something that we believe it should be accepted? I don't believe that. That's only one example. But in general, is this idea of how can you promote the best, the values that come from the gospel, is not by having the power of the state behind you. I don't believe that's a general belief, right? It's not by forcing. It's been done in the past, forcing conversion. What an absurdity. Even the text of the Bible at the end in the Apocalypse say, says, look, I am at the door and I'm knocking. If you open the door, I will come in and eat with you. And if not, I will stay out. So God cannot impose itself. The Catholic Church and the humanistic values that it entails and the Christian values that it entails, if they have the power of the state behind them to be imposed, they don't progress in the world. It's on the contrary. People just get against them. And I believe this is not good for the church to try to impose through the criminal law. And concretely, uh, that issue of abortion, I think it's better to have it as we have it in many countries in Europe now, which is, uh, it is not persecuted in a criminal way if you do it in certain circumstances, which basically is during the period where the, the, the baby is still dependent on you as a mother, right? Of course, I would not at all in any country justify an abortion when you can have a delivery and then the baby can survive outside of the mother. Because then if you don't want the baby, you just have to have the delivery and then somebody else will take care or can go into an incubator. But there is a period of time where the mother and the child are a very peculiar unit. And this unit, I believe, 
should not be forced by the state. The state should not have the power to force that. Because, again, you have this extreme value of a human life, but also have the extreme value of what we call the personal freedom. And that's also acknowledged by the magisterium of the church. When you have a woman that is being used as an instrument, any human being cannot be used as an instrument for some good objective or goal because you have a dignity. And the human being, and the example, and I finish with that, but the example would be, okay, let's think, you have this value of human life as the highest value and nothing is above it. Let's move on with this premise. You have a Catholic father that has a child that needs a kidney transplant. And the child, <clears throat> uh, the father has a compatible kidney. So if the father gives the kidney to the child, the child will survive. If the father does not give the kidney, the child will die. Of course, the Catholic Church recommends the father to give the kidney, but is the Catholic Church ready to put the father in jail if the father decides not to give? It's not. So that's an example where the Catholic Church, even though it acknowledges the good of something and it promotes that something, it's not ready to push against the freedom of an adult human being to tell this adult human being, you have to do it. To save this other life, you have to do it. That's only one example, but I hope it helps see the type of thing I'm trying to say.